and unquestionably the leader on that side of the floor. Well, Greg, it was as good a performance as I've seen. He got 35 points after having four fouls with seven minutes to go in the first half. I mean, that's what really impressed me the most. But you could see his leadership carried over into the entire team. They just played harder and harder once he started getting on track. The best offense in the nation against the defending NCAA champions, the Loyola Marymount Lions and the Michigan Wolverines. And you'll meet the starters when we come back to Long Beach in just a moment. Grab one there, and here come the Lions. Steamer is open for three. Terry Mills trying to guard Steamer. That's going to be a real problem. Three-one. Loyola Marymount. Demetrius Caleb with the basketball, dribbling through traffic. Here's Mike Griffin. But here's where you get in trouble. Getting back on the transition. Griffin is the one who is to guard Bo Kimball today, and he is all over Bo Kimball down low. That matchup will be an interesting one, Greg, because Griffin works as hard as anybody on the defensive end. Fryer stripped of the ball by Ramil Robinson. And Walker will push it, loses the ball. Griffin has it. Here comes Caleb. Caleb will put it up. Marymount's pace. Loose back. Knight across the lane. About setting some tempo. Here's Jeff Pryor out of the corner. Got Alabama will do battle to determine the same as Chris Boyd hits the short pop off the baseline. When well, Knight made that shot, but what I'm watching is that Paul Westhead has started to make Bo Kimball more of a decoy as opposed to going to him on the offensive end. Here come the Lions. Kimball for three. And that's the side steamer for three. Comes up short, and here comes and here comes Michigan. And that foul all the season. Michigan has hit 100 or more points in a game with a high of 127 against Iowa. And that shot is good from out. It's Michigan three on one. Robinson, good pass to Mills. Here's steamer, another three. <laughs> you keep trying if you get the shot. Trying to guard uh, back on transition. And Roy Bach with the slam. That's he had before the injury. Kimball, baseline drive. Kimball with Griffin on it. He'll take him off the dribble. Shot doesn't work. Both teams in the bonus situation now. Good short shot by Chris Knight. He's as good as they come. Terry Mills with a good turnaround. Eight points for Bill. Lowry on the drive. Throws it up and scores. Quickly, like that quickly. Oh, what a drive by Terrell Lowry. How you take it, but be careful because you'll be forced to that tempo. Kimball will go to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Plays in this tournament. He will shoot his first free throw left-handed. He stepped to the line Friday night against New Mexico State in... With it too. Reminds me. Oh, and a dish for Lowry. Oh, oh. Steve Kimball puts it up. He's got the stroke, Greg. You can just see it now. I mean, he had Sean Higgins, who's three inches taller than he is, right in his face, did Bo Kimball, and just struck. Walk. Tally to the bench. Fryer, baseline. Good move by Jeff Fryer. Here comes Kimball. points, three boards, the nation's leading scorer at 35.6 a game. Let him post up because he's been playing great on the offensive end. Good shot by Caleb. 64-58. Kimball on the run, inside, draws the foul, and he'll go. Two shots. Oh, Kimball on the free throw line shooting two. Getting him open. So now Bo Kimball back into the lineup, and he and Pierce Steamer are going to figure the eight. CBS chases it down. Back outside. Here's Fryer. Comes Walker down the lane. Kimball missed the follow up, and here comes Michigan. Robinson right at Steamer. Not 
get caught up with Pryor into the lane and back outside. Steamer for three. This is a game. He was the strongest biggest player that Loyola Marymount has. The way they take advantage of it is post Mills and Falk. Lowry, three on one. Lowry. Lowry, pass Robinson. Well, now you won't see that very often. Not anybody just passed Lorraine with an outlet for Kimball, who tracks it down. Fryer out of the corner. last year. Everybody is in on one goal and is trying to make this thing happen. I ain't gathered this year for Loyola Marymount. That is the steamer. Come and guard you the three-point shot. The one thing you don't have to worry about with Paul Westhead is that he won't tell you not to shoot. If you're open, he'll tell you to shoot the ball. Anybody underneath the And works his way inside. of Hank Gathers, and it is indeed very much alive with 8.09 to play. They make a lot of things happen. Tom Peabody from the far side. Peabody for Kimball. Oh, that was a great catch. Tough pass, but a steamer, three-pointer. Suit, which is uh, I want two, at least two, if not three. <laughs> People like Jeff Fryer, Paul Westhead's lines have, have been able to get Bo his shots. Uh, Fryer's got it in his. Peabody's made it in his. That just loosens it up for everybody else. But I'll tell you what was really... Robinson takes it to the loop. 23 for Romeo Robinson. That was cool of Loyola Marymount. Fryer. That is difficult. <laughs> But you're right. Uh, what are they going to do? Lowry drives the baseline, but the reverse doesn't fall. Minute and a half to play. Yeah. As Tony Colbert slides in. Oh, I asked <laughs> Paul Westhead that before, and he said the same. Let's see if they... Kimball... The shooting stroke, like Bo needs help shooting the basketball or something. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah, I was just gonna say, Steve Fisher's you know, looking up, he's, he's disappointed, I'm sure. His crew played well, but once they got out into that, that full court up and down game, it's just so difficult to play Loyola Marymount at that game because we're going. Marcellus Lee, a three-pointer! 
115 victory. From the West Region in Long Beach, our final score, Loyola Marymount 149, Michigan 115. They now join the Battle Las Vegas and Ball State in the West Region semifinals in Oakland, California, beginning Thursday night.